balance is always hard. It's hard to, it's hard to, uh, to maintain a balance. When we walk, because of the design of our body, we have a natural balance. If you have an inner ear problem, if you have eighth cranial nerve problem, um, if you spin around for a long time, you're going to have problems with your balance. So those are pathologies. But the, the normal state of a human being, the fitra state, is one that should be of balance. And so addressing the pathologies that create imbalance in life is really important. And that in itself, given the, the modern world, is becoming increasingly difficult for people to do just by the nature of the modern world. People are bombarded. The average person sees over 3,000 advertisements in a day if they're just out there walking around. Billboards and brand names. People see T-shirts. I mean, I'm in my house and you know, I saw the Nike logo this morning. I mean, that, that's a commercial. There's people walking around with commercials on their chests. Now, I said to somebody the other day, I saw him, he said, do you have a contract with Adidas? You know, they thought I was joking. I was like, I'm not going to be a human billboard for Adidas or Nike or any other. I, if I buy something with one of those things, I always take it off. I get a needle and thread and literally unthread it and just take it off because I, I don't want to walk around as a billboard for some corporation. Why, why should I do that? Why should I give them free advertising? They, they, they don't do anything free for me, right? In traditional wars, uh, you know, one arms himself with, you know, weapons and a sword and a shield. Right. How would one arm himself in the ethnic jihad? The most important thing is knowledge. That's the most important thing, is, is to have knowledge and then to have clear goals, what it is that you want to achieve, and then to have tactics and strategies for achieving those goals. So strategic thinking is, is the most important thing. And that's one of the things most lacking in the Muslim community, certainly. There's very little strategic thinking. There's li very little thinking beyond today or tomorrow or maybe next week. But there's certainly not long-term strategies what are we going to do as a community 30 years from now? I probably won't even be around, you know, but I should be thinking about that because my children will be around. I've got a child that will only be in his early 30s in 30 years. So I should be thinking, what's, what's his, he, if he's going to be in his early 30s, you know, by normal standards, he's not even halfway through his life. Where is he going to be? What type of institutions are going to be there? So I should be laying the seeds now for fruit that my own children and, uh, and children's children will, will harvest. And Muslims have to think uh, in terms of long-term strategies. If they don't, then they're destined to people without a vision uh, perish. That's what the Bible says. People without a vision perish. So you have to have a vision. You have to know what, what you're here for. What's your purpose? What are you doing? You know, is it just to make a living and, you know, feed my family and that's it? You know, if life is more than that, if life is, is really about uh, facilitating the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, educating people into self-knowledge, giving people the critical skills they need to be not only productive human beings, but transforming human beings and transformative human beings, uh, human beings that are that are actually redressing problems in the world that are struggling to make the world a better place because you either transform the world or you're transformed by the world and a lot of people set out in their youth to transform the world but in the end they're they're the ones who have been transformed by the world mm. and and they instead of challenging the world to conform to their higher ideals they end up conforming to the uh, lower realities of the world and that's something that, to me, it should be intolerable. That's not what I want to be. People become cynical. Um, things have always been that way. Well, things haven't always been that way. There was a time not that long ago when the only jobs that were open to certain peoples were being janitors or working on a railroad, or that was it. It's not, that's not the way it is. And there were people back then that said, hey, that, that's just the way things are. That's the way it's always been. But fortunately, there were people that actually saw the way the world should be, not the way it is, but the way it should be, and then set out to actually do something about it. And we live 
you know, we today enjoy the fruits of their labor. And so those of us alive today should be looking out at the world and saying, what needs to be changed here? And then we should be setting it out to do that so that people come after us and they can see, oh, you know, there were people back then who saw these things weren't right and they set out to change them. And now it's not like that anymore. But then they'll have their own challenges and the struggle goes on because that's just life on earth. Life on earth is struggle. That's all it is from beginning to end. You struggle when you come into the world. You struggle getting out of the womb of your mother. It's a struggle. You struggle for the first breath of air that you take. It's struggle. And and it just goes on and on until you actually go into the last death throes. And that's a struggle itself. Just leaving the body is a struggle of the soul. So life is jihad. That's what it is from beginning to end. 